Nearly 50% of adults will experience some form of hair loss in their lifetimes. When I see people in my office, men will come in with a slightly different type of hair loss, usually in the temporal areas or even in the crown of their heads, whereas women will come in with this diffuse um, hair loss in the frontal scalp, telling me that their part is widening. So they're very different presentations. While most hair loss is genetic, there are certain medical conditions that can contribute to hair loss. That's why it's important for people who come in wanting to get their hair loss treated be evaluated by a medical doctor for such things as anemia or thyroid or other hormonal malfunction. In my office, we offer a variety of treatments for hair loss. This could be, include such things as over-the-counter shampoos that can help to thicken hair to prescription strength medications such as Rogaine that you can put on your hair or Propecia that you can take by mouth or even hair transplantation using a robot. One of the most popular treatments in my office is PRP, which stands for platelet-rich plasma. Now, you may have heard about this because it's been the rage in Hollywood for a number of years for people who want to increase hair growth by using a series of injections. We have a special in-office program for PRP, which involves taking a tube of the patient's blood, spinning it down in a special apparatus, and then re-injecting the concentrated platelets back into the areas of the scalp where the hair is thinning. This provides nutrients and helps the hair to grow. The people who do the best with PRP are those who have had a relatively short duration of hair loss, those that haven't had hair loss more than, say, three years. However, we have been seeing patients with longer-term hair loss also respond to PRP. The treatment is very simple. When we draw the blood and spin it in the centrifuge, we can actually, in the same day, perform the series of injections. The injections only take a few minutes to perform, and then we have people come back on a monthly basis, usually about three to four sessions, in order to improve the hair growth. After that time, depending on people's individual response, they may undergo uh, some maintenance treatments, and they can be annually or maybe twice a year in order to maintain or further improve upon the hair growth pattern that they would like. After treatment, it's very simple for patients. Most patients can go back to all their regular activities except for heavy-duty exercise. There may be a little bit of bruising or swelling in the hair areas that are injected, but overall, patients are able to go back to their work or other activities activities without any special care. PRP treatments are relatively inexpensive for cosmetic treatments. They're about $1,000 a session and there are packages available.